It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. What everybody's looking at is, is actually my brand new 2020 KenCraft 2260. It's a skiff, it's a flat bottom boat, and uh, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's awesome to have you back around the waterfront. And uh, who we have on the program first, we have got Clint Bland here from Shark Hide. And uh, thanks for, this is actually his driveway down here in, uh, in Cape Coral, Florida. We also have Immaculate Lori. Immaculate, I'm doing great, but dude, Immaculate approached me a couple months ago and uh, had a great idea. He, he's into boat detailing and he wanted to do a little co-venture. And I said, yeah, I think that'd be great. And just like his name, Immaculate, that's what kind of job you get with this man. Uh, he's very good with the fiberglass and the gel coat and all that, but he has absolutely no clue how to uh, yet take care of aluminum. That's where Clint comes in. Uh, today, we're gonna be showing you how to keep something that's brand new, made out of aluminum, looking brand new forever, literally using a product called Shark Hide Metal Protectant. We're just doing a little scrubby do here first with some Dawn dishwashing detergent. And uh, the trailer manufacturer's up in North Carolina. It's called Road King Trailers. This is one of the nicest trailers I have right now. I'm very, very impressed. But uh, we're starting off by just, you know, getting all the greases and the oils off the brand new aluminum. And then we're going to be getting into the project. But before we can get into any of this stuff, guys, you know the, the deal. We've got to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get everybody home, spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're kind of doing a little scrubby do. And then in exchange, we're going to be letting you in on so many more ways to make your boat ship shape. It's awesome. All right, guys, can we rinse a little bit here? I got to get the soap off before it dries. Thanks. Ship Shape TV, where boat improvement lives, is made possible by the entire collection of beautiful Sunbrella fabrics. Sunbrella, the only fabric to offer both design and performance above and below deck. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Attention waterfront property owners already sold on the fact that synthetic lumber for decks and docks is far superior to the pitfalls of pressure treated wood. You know about the splintering and the weathering issues. However, not every composite board sold is alike. Some turn chalky, decay due to mold and mildew. Most fade in color with age, though not true when you opt for the best. Lumber Rock, the fastest growing manufacturer of synthetic lumber on and around the waterfront. Lumber Rock, we never. There's no other place you'd rather be than on the water, living your passion. Whether it's a serene day at the lake, cruising the coastline, or using the wind to power you along your course, only Sunbrella fabrics combine style and comfort above and below deck with the absolute best performance and warranty on land and sea. Now in our 45th year, KenCraft introduces the all-new 2020 KenCraft Bay Rider Bay Boats and Skiffs, powered exclusively by Yamaha, specifically designed to fish hard, specifically designed to cruise well with your family. Can there really be one boat that does both exceedingly well? Yes, there can, with a KenCraft. KenCraft, top tier fit and finish. KenCraft, only the best, most expensive marine hardware integrated. Can it be yours? Of course it can, affordably. KenCraftBoats.com. Welcome back. You're watching ShipShape TV, boat improvement made easy. We've driven over here to the west coast of Florida. We're now in Cape Coral. We started off in the driveway washing off the trailer. Started rinsing it off, started raining. All right, well, let's bring the trailer inside the garage. We've reconfigured. And guys, who we have on the program is, is Clint Bland. Clint has been on the show several times before. And of course, we have Immaculate. And, and Immaculate is very good at fiberglass detailing, gel coat, vinyls. 
right? Okay. Doesn't know a whole lot about bare metal. And with the popularity of pontoon boats today, guys, I know you're going to be getting a lot of customers in that area. We need something in his arsenal, okay, in his quiver to where he's going to be able to do this. Oh, absolutely. I figured if you could teach him, people in the audience are going to kind of pick up on it yeah. and everybody's going to win, okay? I want to start off with how I got the boat off of the trailer by myself, okay? One guy. I have an old standby at the, at the shop. It, it, it's, I call it Big Red. That's its nickname. But basically, it's two horizontal stands, and there's a big, huge metal beam that hooks into the bow eye of right. the boat. You hook it in, and just like a winch on a trailer, you can lift the front of the boat up off of the trailer. Then what you do is you come back behind it, and you use a couple of jack stands to lift it up. Literally, one guy, I could pull this trailer right. out, yeah. from, and, and that's like unheard of. It's a really cool thing. Clint asked me, Immaculate, to use an aerosol formulation of the Shark Eye product and to hit all of the hardware, uh, the wire chases, the nooks, the crannies, right. uh, the corners. The places you can't reach with the claw. Right. Like this. And then we, we went ahead and we pre-did that, and that's where you want to begin. Um, and you want to be kind of generous with it on, on these areas. You want it to really be able to get under a wire or to get into a thread or, or something like that, and that's going to lock out the corrosion Correct. and everything Correct. else. Teach Immaculate about the cloth, what cloth or applicator right. only should we be using here? When you're dealing with fiberglass, detail work, things like that, your go-to cloth is usually like a microfiber, something like that. A microfiber is the worst possible choice to apply the shark hide. What we use is a cloth, it's called a flat fold bird's eye weave that describes the cloth, that describes the weave used that, to make That's the cotton, cloth. right? It's a cotton cloth, pure cotton. Um, it just so happens uh, Gerber manufactures the baby a baby diaper. Food now they make company. several, so be careful. You have to have the flat fold bird's eye weave. That's okay. important. And they, and, they, and they sell those readily. Uh, readily you you okay. can find those. If not, you can get them on our website. We stock them. There's a special way that you folded that up. He, he, yeah. you, you don't want to scrunch this like a, like a scrunchie and use it at a, as an applicator. You need to kind of do it this way. What, yeah. what do we do? Well, what we did is we took one diaper out of that pack. We fold it up so when you're done, all the loose edges, the only loose ends are going to face the heel of your hand. We've got nice rounded edges around the other three sides. That way when you are wiping, you're not dragging loose ends through and leaving textured lines. Clint, so Clint taught me this, this little trick here, guys. This, this is pretty cool. With, with your quarter shark hide, what you want to do, Immaculate, is you want to use like, a, like an awl or something like that, and you want to punch some holes into this metal cap right there right. so that it doesn't gurgle, so that it comes out nice. And how much product do you put on the, uh, the diaper? What we do is we slowly dribble shark hide all over the face of this cloth. We don't want to leave any dry edges or anything. Okay. Very slowly dribble on the cloth. You can feel when it cert gets a certain weight to the cloth, you think, okay, I've got just about enough. You want it to where it's just starting to reach through to the back of your hand, just, just getting through the cloth. So notice now, that they're wearing the, 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 the uh, yes. solvent. These are going to help guard against solvent the gloves. Right. It's okay. a solvent safe glove. It's something that you, you can pick up at any hardware store, something Always suitable. Always wear those when you're doing this. For okay. putting on, you know, uh, stains and things like that. But that's all you need. So now that we've seasoned the cloth in one fluid motion, now, since we've already took the aerosol and gotten around the brackets, you don't have to slow down for the bracket. You just work your way right down the length of the flange, across the top of the bracket. See the speed that he's doing it? And now we just keep walking right down the end of the, all the way down to the very end of the trailer. And, and once you start, you don't want to stop until the, you have a stopping point, okay? okay? You don't want to lift it up in the middle, all right? Now, that is one coat. Now, you can't see it, but you've coated the whole top flange. Now that's going to dry to the touch, 90 seconds, it's dry to the touch. But it's not cured. Correct. Uh, Big difference, guys. It's dry, it's dry to the touch, and cure but it's not cured. Because you always recommend to do two coats, and it's not because the product really needs a second coat. It's because you're going to mess up a human error, and you're going to miss spots. Oh, Trust I, me, you're going to miss spots. I can see three or four spots yeah. I missed right. on that top flange. So, so that's, that second coat, you, you don't do it well after 90 seconds, okay, to dry correct. to the touch. You gotta let it fully cure. Well, how long do we wait? I like to say at least two to three days. It's gonna be dry in a couple of seconds, but in two to three days, you're gonna come back and do your second coat. You're gonna do it just like you did the first coat. You're gonna hit the aerosol around all the little brackets and tight spots. 
But diamond plate's completely different than the flat. It is. Okay, Here, and me, this is this a cool is trick with... that he'll show you how to do this. Real quick, show us how to do that. There is there is a big difference in technique. On smooth aluminum, we go one direction, slide the cloth down, go back, never overlap it. With diamond plate, it's different because these diamonds, as you wipe over, the cloth will hit the leading edge of the diamond and it'll skip over and yeah, it won't like touch over. You'll miss it. until it comes right to the next one. So there'll be dark spots develop. What you do, get your cloth started. Now, we slide all the way one direction with the cloth. Now, mm -hmm. normally with smooth aluminum, we would never go back over it. But now we're going to go backwards. And that's going right to get the, the back side of, those, of, 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 of all these diamonds. Okay. Now, you scoot it down and repeat that. Go all the way down to here and immediately go back. You only want to allow just a few seconds between. If not, it'll gum up. There. Now we've just coated that fender. How long before we have to reapply? Typically, if you were going to coat this and run it until it, until it starts to fail, you might get two, three, four years out of this. I don't suggest doing that. What you need to do Maybe, one, maybe once a year, do, do a maintenance it. coat, okay? It'll, it. it'll literally kind of melt back into the original coat. All you have to do in between coats is you wash it with hot soapy water, Warm soapy and, water. and you reapply. Now that this is part of our, uh, Immaculate's arsenal, people at home are going to say, we need it too. Where, where can they get it? You can go to our website. That's www.sharkhide.com. We ship the same day orders are placed. And uh, we have everything you need in stock from, obviously, the Sharkhide materials up to the applicator cloth. Ship Shape TV will be right back. Exceptional boater experience inspires Yamaha owners for life. Reliability is a big reason why. And right now, Yamaha's Reliable Choice Sales event's a great reason to buy. Purchase a qualifying 2.5 to 350 horsepower Yamaha Outboard and get a choice of additional warranty protection or receive a generous dealership credit. Exceptional reliability, exceptional deals. It's Yamaha's Reliable Choice Sales event. Visit YamahaOutboards.com for further details. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. This is why we call them Ocean Tamer. Total body support and comfort. Shock absorbing marine beanbag chairs. Ocean Tamer, the most comfortable seat on board. Crafted from 100% marine grade materials. Built tough to handle the harsh marine environment. Water repellent. UV stabilized. Ocean Tamer marine beanbags. Four awesome styles. Tons of color choices. Can be personalized with boat name or logo. Finally, two nylon handles for ease of carrying or stowing. Order yours today. Ocean-Tamer.com. Boat Steering Solutions, every boater's BFF, is not a repair shop. We remanufacture hydraulic devices back to original factory specs. We disassemble, inspect, and replace all defective parts. Simply tell us what's wrong. Ship us your helm, cylinder, it's remanufactured. Then back to you in a day or two at like half the cost of buying new. Need hydraulic hose? Boat Steering Solutions, your official Seastar authorized service center, is your BFF. The savings are here at BoatSteer.com. Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvements? Well, you caught it right here at Ship Take TV. Hey, John, I want to welcome you out to the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, one of the biggest boat shows of the whole entire year. Guys, who we have back on the program is a very great friend of mine. This is Robbie Coates, and Robbie is the national sales manager for Sea Hunt Boats. And apparently, you are launching a brand new model which is right behind us, right here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. What model Sea Hunt is this? What we have, John, is this is our all new 2020 239 SE, which is for a side entry. So it is a side entry boat. Is the new 239, is this replacing the, the 235? It is. It, it took over the 235. We have some new technology in it, new designs, kind of to keep everything fresh, just to keep those customers with fresh product. I really want to point out the top cap on this boat, and um, it kind of reminds me of being on a sport fish. Right. What, what, what's that tow rail all about? Well, the channel's water down the decks of the boat. We do incorporate it on our 22 bay boat as well, but it's really more of a cosmetic look. It does give you a little grip on top, but it's really more cosmetic than anything. Okay, now, a lot of guys, you know, when they're building their boats, they'll, they'll have model numbers, okay? T typically, if you heard, you know, 239, you would assume that it's a 23-foot, 9-inch boat. Not the case with Sea Hunt. What, how, what, what is the overall length of this boat? Well, what we do, John, is we do kind of the opposite of a lot of competitors. Uh, we, we like to give you more boat than we actually advertise. So this boat 
a 239 sig uh, designation on the side. This boat is 24 foot 3 inches long. Okay, now I see in the, in the back, okay, at the transom, where the Yamaha motor is hung. This is a 300 horsepower Yamaha right. motor. Mm -hmm. And Sea Hunt only goes with the best, they only go with Yamaha. I, I see some type of a setback. What, what is that all about? What that does is it, it picks up cleaner water for the propeller, uh, less turbulent, so it's better efficiency, better speeds, better, better economy. Better fuel economy, yeah. Right. Okay, that, that, that's very cool. You're building the boats in, in the Carolinas, okay, mm -hmm. in South Carolina, and uh, boats from the Carolinas are known to have what's called a Carolina flare. And, and this has an amazing Carolina flare right. on it. And what's the advantage of maybe owning a boat with a Carolina flare when we're talking about, you know, like waves and, and chop and stuff like that? What a Carolina flare does is we, we do a very sharp entry, 55 degrees on this boat, has a big, nice flare, and we run that all the way back to the shear line where the shear line breaks. Oh, what, okay. For those that don't know where a shear line is, where, where is the shear line? Shear line is going to break. Our shear line breaks right at the driver always. Okay, what so, that so, does, so guys, okay, so imagine the flare coming mm -hmm. back where the drive at the leaning post where you're sitting. That's where the shear line. That's where the water breaks. And right. and and what happens when a wave's coming up up to the hull? So a chop. You know, how does the water get moved? So what that does is it deflects the water down and it keeps the water breaking behind you. So everybody in the boat stays dry. A lot of people, you know, the, 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 they might start off, uh, you know, the kids are small, mm -hmm. they've got maybe a 21 foot boat. Okay, that's their first boat. Now the kids are getting a little bit bigger. They're looking for something a little bit bigger to hold the kids as they're, as they're growing. It's, I call it two-foot-itis. A lot right. of people call it two-foot-itis. For the people that currently own like a 21, 22 foot boat, they want to step up. What are we talking about? I mean, uh, how affordable is it? This boat, I'll, I'll be honest with you, right here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, this boat came out in the mid-80s uh, price-wise. Uh, it's a very affordable boat. So the guy that's going from a 21, 22-foot boat, it gives you, a, you know, you're jumping into a 24-foot boat now. All right. How has the boat been received? Well, we had people coming out looking for it. We've done a lot of Facebook stuff. We've had people just coming to see the 239s. When we unveiled it Thursday, it's been a mob cast with people in it the whole entire time. Okay, well, a lot of people in the audience didn't have a chance to come to this year's Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. How can they actually get a better look at it? Yeah, what you want to do is go to our website, which is seahuntboats.com. Uh, go on to the 239 link, and that's going to give you as much video, overhead, knowledge as you want to see. Why is Sea Hunt now the number one selling fiberglass center console style boat 18 to 30 feet in America? Because when you buy a Sea Hunt, you get so much more. More standard features, more efficient running hulls. Look, guys, I'm running 34 miles an hour on just one engine. More cockpit space, more family time out on the water, more fishable, more funnable, so much more affordable. Sea Hunt, more, more, more. Are you tired of fighting foul odors in your car? The easy to use Auto Odor Eliminator from Starbright uses the power of chlorine dioxide to eliminate even the worst smells. From cigarettes and pets to fast food and sweaty kids, this EPA registered chlorine dioxide technology fights the odor causing bacteria, the source of the stink. Don't just cover it up, eliminate it with the Auto Odor Eliminator from Starbright. Introducing the Mentos Anchor, the most reliable anchor ever made. Other anchors often can't set in firm, aggressive bottoms, thus endangering your safety. The Mentos Anchor will not fail you. It will set the first time, every time, even in the most demanding situations. Welcome back. You're tuned in to Shipshape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. Now, what's great about having my new boat, oh, geez, okay, up on, uh, up on Big Red, as well as the jack stands and the blocks, is it really gives you the ability, let me turn this off, to kind of see what's so unique about this Kencraft's hull bottom. Okay, do you see... Do you see these? These are tracking strakes. They're not lifting strakes. These three are tracking strakes. And they go all the way from the front of the boat all the way to the stern. And basically, when you're running at speed, okay, and you turn the wheel, it turns. It does not slide out. 
and I've never been in a boat like this where you're in a two, three foot chop, you hammer it. Most flat bottom boats will beat you to death. This is smooth as silk, I absolutely love it. But I've done a little bit of work here to the uh, trailer. You know, we crossed the state a couple of times and I had to get some bug marks off of the uh, cross members. Wiped it off in the studio. Also, this is a great idea. The, uh, the jack stands, your jack stands. Go ahead and put some, uh, put some marine grease on it. Run it all the way down, run it all the way up a couple of times. This is going to give you a lot longer life on your jack stand. They do, down the road, tend to fail, especially around salt water, salt air, okay? And I want to show you how Big Red works. It's pretty cool. We have two vertical stands. It's on wheels. We have a big, huge cross member coming here, and it hooks right into the bow eye. Do you see that? And just like your winch on your trailer, that's what you have here on, I call Big Red. And basically, you just crank it, and you can lift it up. And just like a trailer, you wanna take her down, go ahead and you switch it, and you can take it down. Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna get the trailer underneath this, and uh, I wanna show you how easy it is. But I gotta come pretty far out. <coughs> so bear with me. And we're gonna try to cut her right down in there. Now, I can't forget that I need to take those guide poles off, because otherwise I'm gonna hit the boat. Now let's see if this can drop. It will, fantastic. Let me get the other side. Now, uh, it's been several days since uh, I went over to the West Coast of Clint, and we've been getting a tremendous amount of rain. Remember we had to take it into the garage? Well, we've gone ahead and we've got two coasts now onto our trailer. We're protected for, Clint doesn't want to hear this, but many years. Um, he says, put on a coat every year. I've used this stuff and it's gonna last me three, four years, no problem. Now, do you remember Brian Farrell's 1972 20 foot sea craft, okay? All that rain, water weighs like eight pounds a gallon. Filled up the boat. Remember, we put in a new transom. There's, there's no garbage drain on this. And literally, thousands of pounds of water actually collapsed the boat on the trailer. I went ahead and I took a half inch drill bit, plunged out the transom. It's still draining. It's been several hours that we've been draining this boat. Also, you saw on Big Red how I was jacking it up, how that's now evacuating the water. And guys, when you have your boats on a trailer, you do want to make sure that you take out the garbage drain plug, okay? If you don't, you can literally, you can sink your boat on a trailer, okay? But you just saw it, it, it happens. So once I get the second guide pole out, I think I'm gonna be in good shape to get this trailer back into position. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, so what I'm trying to do here, guys, is I wanna take the trailer as far back as I can. Oh, I wanna get past that tracking streak. Both sides, see how I'm doing that? Sliding down both sides. Oh, come on, baby. Go feel me now. So I just want to take this down a little bit. That's going to give me, should give me clearance for the, uh, for the trailer. <laughs> we are good. Okay, let's do a little, little more. See what we got. Pretty good, huh? One guy. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, look how far I got it back, all right? Now, what I've got to do next is I've got to crank up both of these jack stands just a little bit in order to get the keel, the very hull bottom, off of these keel blocks. I'll remove the keel blocks, then I can lower the jack stands, get the boat on the trailer, lower Big Red, one person, got a boat on and off a trailer. I think it's fantastic. We're gonna take a real quick time out. We'll be back right after this. Discover the Deco difference. Highly engineered boat lifts that won't hamper your view. Stronger, better built with the finest materials. Deco boat lifts. Lifts boats with ease. Faster than others that's sure to please. Craftsmanship, longevity. Deco boat lifts.
Zero backlashing, five decades strong, all at the best prices. Hi, I'm Chris Massell, one of the mechanical engineers at Deco Boat Lifts. Since 1959, we've been leading the industry in both design and innovation, such as our patented cable retention system. So we can lift your boat quickly, quietly, and safely. I invite you to discover the Deco difference. Lift, Deco boat lifts, lifts boats with ease. The ultimate bucket list. Let's start with an ergonomic corrosion-free rope handle. Check. You want a caddy to organize your supplies and lift them out with ease. Check. Add in a bucket grate to elevate wash tools out of dirty water. Check. While you're at it, let's include integrated soap measuring cups. Check. How about a base that won't let your bucket scratch, tip, or slip? Check. Top it off with a secure lid that doubles as a place to sit down. Check and check. The Surehold One Bucket System. For everything on your bucket list, visit OneBucket.com. Big news! Full episodes are now available on the Shipshake TV YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, and every time a program posts, you'll be personally notified. You know, people on our Facebook page always say, we make projects look so easy. I'm telling you, they're never easy. We struggle just like everybody else, and here's the situation. I got my jack stand loose, but you can see the post is going into the concrete. So what I have to do, I grab the floor jack and I'm going to use the keel blocks. And do you see that cross member right there? I'm going to go underneath the cross member. I'm going to try to get the weight off the jack stand so that I can lower it down onto the trailer. Come on, baby. Don't fail me now. There we go. A little bit up there. A little more. Okay. There we go. Ha -ha. Success. All right. So now, I'll lower it. It'll be on the trailer. There you go, yeah. Nice. Finally, what I have to do is deal with Big Red. And uh, just gonna crank it down on the trailer. And we've successfully been able to shark hide our, uh, our boat trailer. This just comes down. Do that right here. This comes off. Take that off, take it off the bow eye, and we're in good shape. Hey, we got a lot of people that we need to thank who helped make today's show possible. First off, Clint Bland. The name of his company is Flatwater Incorporated, and uh, you can call him uh, in order to order your shark hide metal protectant. We also need to thank Robbie Coates. Wasn't that an amazing new sea hunt? We had the Brunson family helping us out with our Ken Craft. We have uh, Road King Trailers. Uh, helping us out today, but most importantly, we need to thank everybody at home. Thanks so much for hanging out with us right here for the last half hour. I'm John Graviscus. It's getting late. I'm thinking, how about a little dinner? <laughs> we'll catch you on the next go around. SeaDeck was founded by a group of individuals who share a love of life on the water. 13 years later and more than 130 employees strong, our passion has grown stronger than ever before. We are fishermen. We are paddleboarders. We are surfers. We, we are, are parents. parents. We are Captains for Clean Water.